Hello Virgo and welcome to the Astro Flower. This is going to be a reading for your coming week of the 7th through to the 13th. If you don't know what the Astro Flower is, please go down in the description below. You'll find lots of links to explore through our books, the introduction videos, our sister channel, Cinematic TV. You'll find that all in the description below just after you've subscribed and click that bell. So this is a reading for the uh, 7th to the 13th, we're going to be looking at the spiritual path, which we're on at the moment. This is what the universe is bringing into you, two of cups, blinding, two of cups. But then you've got the seven of cups, which is within your um, within your uh, karmic path on the physical front. So this is uh, this is your material side of life. You've got the five of wands that's sitting in your karmic path here at the moment. So. It's sort of saying to you, normally it's a sort of card of conflict and everything like that. But here I think it's sort of saying, stand your ground. You know, you've got to, you've got to go. You, there's something that needs to come to a head, basically, within the material world. That's why it looks, basically. And so, and the, and, and, and the universe is encouraging this on your physical, on your material path. The universe with that four of wands is asking you to walk through a portal it's usually a thing of marriage, but it's a celebration as well. Sort of starting of a journey, tying yourself to the material world. And that four of pentacles, which were just above it, quite nice. So um, let's see. With a wheel of fortune, if you do do that, that looks like things are going to be really hunky-dory for you. Really nice, yeah. And you've got the three of cups on the other side. And you're looking to to sort of see the world in a different way, see life in a completely different way. So, which side should we start on? Should we start on the material or the spirit? The material. You want to start on the material or the or the the painful side? <laughs> okay, let's get on to that. Okay, so this is the gift coming in from the universe. This is what they're sort of trying to encourage in you. Uh, they're really sort of pushing you towards an opportunity of actually. A little bit of a taking a leap of faith, but in general, it's more a case of um, going going into a contract with something that you know. Um, and it should be a celebration. It should be a beautiful moment. It's like an achievement in a way, but not necessarily like achievement of something that you've won, but more of an achievement of kind of going, this is who I am. And it's um, this is where it comes into a marriage. So it could be sort of joining a company or, you know, that you could get a new job this week uh, or job offer. Um, it could be a project or business starting that maybe just starting within you um, or, or building a house or something like that. But there seems to be an engagement within yourselves in the in the physical front. This is going to this here it says it's, you know, it's usually about sort of fighting and. This could be competition. So, you know, someone could be could be trying your business if you've got a business or even trying for a job. You're in competition with other people. So think about it. What what are you going to bring to the party? That'll help you get that job. If you think about that, what you're going to bring to the business and you propose it, you're going to be the one standing on the top of that pile. You're going to be doing well. Um if it's to do with um, sort of uh, projects or buildings or, or material gains and stuff like that, I really think it's sort of saying stand your ground. It might be slightly confrontational with either someone or some entity like a like a business or a bank or something like that. But I think it's sort of saying stand your ground. The fight is worth it. You know, you don't want to you don't want to invest your time or money in things that are not going to pay back for you. And, and you know, she's only got a certain amount of pentacles to spend and she's on her way to market. And she knows what she wants. And this is, this comes from here. You should, you know, the universe is sort of saying, this is it, this is it, this is it. Fight for it. But you don't have to go and beat people up, obviously. That's not what fighting's all about. We're talking about fighting for it in a spiritual sort of sense or in a, in a, in a moral sort of sense within the business because this is the new paradigm and it's nothing to do with, you know, money is going to be playing a, a, a lighter role in all of this in the future. But uh, what is going to be playing a lot more role in the future is the honorability of the job you do and the company you work for. That should be really prime. 
Uh, and your what's going through your mind with the start of this journey, yeah, it's going to be complicated. Yeah, you've got to be wise in how you do things. But there should be, it's you've got the Wheel of Fortune, that's your subconscious where the your guides are trying to help out with that conversation from within you. And they seem to be convincing you that this is a good thing to do. This is a good journey to take. Yes, it's going to have it's going to have certain competition or certain um, barriers to get through, but you are very capable to, of doing that. And this week here, it might accumulate where you have a lot of light bulb moments and kind of going, oh yeah, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that. Whether about getting a new job or start or, or developing your business even further or starting your business up, this is this seems to be going towards a fruition moment at the end of the week where you start on that journey. Okay, on the spiritual front, let's see if a look what's going on the emotional sort of side. The universe they're trying to give it to you all, really. What between the two of cups and the four of wands, you know, one of marriage and one of completely just falling in love, as it were, and the combining of two forces of love. And that could be also, you know, not only falling in love with yourself in the, in the spiritual sort of sense, but also within the community and uh, the community, the family, your friends. You're going to you're going to find that i think that's that's what's going to guide you on that's what's going to egg you on in your on your life so you, you might be at the moment confronted with a lot of choices and it, it, procrastination and stuff like that might be in it but in reality if you look at all those cups there's only one that's actually giving out water out of all those choices there's only one that's giving them water and that is because there's only really the evident path for you to go through I think I've told you about this before, Virgo. Maybe it was a thing, you know, I think I go into it in your book, but realising what is good for you is good for everybody else. And once you start looking at your possibilities, it's going to become evident what one you should be doing. And once you do that, if you combine your path with the evident one, what are you going to get? You're going to get the two of cups. You're going to be laughing. You're going to be laughing. But I think, the, you know, your spiritual sort of side, it, the, the, your your guides are trying to create a situation around you where you actually, you know, you fall in love with the community, you fall in love with the family, with the with with the friends and stuff like that is around you, and you're when you start doing that during this week, your other guys in your in you know who are guiding your spirit inside, you know the yes and no sort of situation, is the seven of pentacles, and that's sort of trying to say to you. Um, yeah, trust and nurture that feeling of love and security within the group, as it were. You know, because they're heading off into the night. That group there doesn't know it doesn't look like on the card, but there's stars in the sky, and they're heading off into the night. And we don't really see what's out in the night, but they're heading off there anyway with absolute joy, like a nice summer's night, and they're waiting for you. So you've got choices out there. It, just choose the the. The group or the or the or the evening outs that it could you know you might have a a friend that asks you to the cinema and you might have several friends that ask you to a meal at the same night. Which one's going to provide you with the best pleasure? That's the main thing you should be considering yourself. Which is the most evident one to do? And just go ahead and do it. Just because you say no to your friends at the cinema doesn't mean you hate them. It just means that uh, you can't do both. So nurture those sort of like those connections. And that will then make a realisation within you by the end of the week. So it's saying, great week. I, you know, I should do this more often. It, another light bulb moment. And it all stems from the, that encompassing energy that is around you, which is you, which is wanting to and looking at the world at a different perspective. And she's looking directly across to those three of cups. And I think she's, you know... You're in inside you, you want to be part of that community, you want to be part of a group. Because Virgo, you love it in groups. There's no doubt about it. You know, you really do. So let's just clarify. Let's just for clarify. Let's just see what the connection things that go between these sort of two. Oh, a bit of a tower moment on the spiritual side, but that's might be. It's might be because you know because love can vank vanquish all apparently. So if you've been doing stuff that really has just been imprisoning you in a tower, that love seems to be coming across and just like, oh, 
sliping it out of the way. So then you can just get on and do. And the Two of Cups comes out again. I was just saying earlier on, you're the first sign that's got the Two of Cups. I was thinking to myself, no one's had the Two of Cups yet. No one's had really that sort of thing going on. It's been a very weird, weird reading this week coming up. Um, I will be doing a weld reading uh, over the weekend because there seems to be something connected with the outside world on all of it, most people's readings. A little bit less on yours, got to be said, but more on everybody else's. So I'll be doing a world reading, so keep an eye out for that. Subscribe and click that bell to see that. And the Queen of Cups, that's a beautiful connection you've got going on there. When you do fall in love and, and make yourself place in that community, you will have complete and utter sovereignty over your emotions. She falls in love with life itself. She's not falling in love with someone. She's falling in love with life. That's what Queen of Cups is all about. <coughs> this is what I said earlier on about someone asking you to the cinema and some people asking you to go out for a meal. Don't be afraid to walk away from something. There's still love in that cup there. There's still fire. But she's actually walking towards the sun. So it's nurturing which is the seven of pentacles, which is leading into, is nurturing those those connections and those social environments that actually makes you feel good. That's what it should be this week. Just nurture them. If it doesn't make you feel good, don't do it. Forget it. Don't do it. And the page of pentacles connecting the seven of pentacles to the page of swords. So nurturing and starting that path and sort of saying, do you know what? I'm going to do that in future. And you may meet someone who sort of says, I go cycling every week and kind of, great idea, I'll come with you. And that's that physical pentacle sort of thing about it all. And it will just bring in joy. And it'd be a bit of a light bulb moment. And then you can sort of say, do you know what? I can actually do anything with my emotions if I want. I can actually really enjoy life if I want to. Okay, let's see what's connecting all of these. Rite of passage. So... I think this is why you should stand up because I think you're I think universe has got your back where in the material world you might have a bit of a confrontation going on a bit of competition for your business a bit of competition for that job or you know um a, say like you're trying to build a house and you're having problems with the planning permission you know I you know I'd stick clear to who you are in regards to that you know I'd I'd stick by your guns let's just see what the sort of clarification goes between the two Two of swords, so make sure you look at, okay, so stick by your guns, but make sure you you look at every aspect of it. There is a choice here. There is a definite choice, but don't just choose it in spite of. Choose it because it's the best thing for you. And in order to do that, you have to take that bandage off and actually get out your mind and just look at the situation clearly. So then you can just go ahead and do it. Hangman. Repeating the, repeating the hangman that is in the beginning, looking at things from a different perspective on top of the two of swords. You, you can't make it up. It's brilliant. Look at things differently. It's exactly what I was just saying. So let's see what connects the four of pentacles through to the wheel of fortune, shall we? Just see what goes through there. The ace of swords. So having clear precision. This is what I'm talking about, the four of pentacles. Being clear of what you want to invest your life into. That's what the Ace of Swords is saying. It's really coming back to that. Be clear. So be clear of what you could bring to that company. If you want to get that job, you want to walk in there sort of saying, actually, do you know what? You want me more than what I want you. I could bring this to your company. That's the sort of thing you want to be doing. That's the sort of attitude you've got to be having, I think, in the physical world. Let's see what connects the Wheel of Fortune to the outcome. Wishing on a start. Everyone seems to be getting this at the moment. It's a good week for wishing. Good week for wishing, and it could be sort of like, uh, you know, Valentine's sort of moment. So, yeah, wish, and the light bulb moments will no longer become a light bulb moment. It will become a light bulb that helps to guide you and light your path, you know. Knight of Wands, I wanted to come out early on, actually. It popped out early on, but I kept it in the pack because I'm like that. Um, but it's, it's starting off on that journey and getting that passion going and beating to that drum. It's can be in spits and spurts but you know it, in order to look at the life in a different perspective it, you can't have it too much full on as it were and connecting those two there it really plays back to uh the ace of the ace of swords over there the clear thinking 
that's what seems to be connecting the two. Be passionate about your journey. Go out and enjoy yourself. Let's just see what's the hangman, what that's sort of bringing in, what the influences is tying the two together. It'd be funny if we got the Empress. We got the Page of Swords, uh, Page of One, sorry, who did also want to come out earlier on. Um, Page of Wands uh, coming out, sort of saying, just go it, be a kid, be a kid, be a kid. Enjoy life. You know, it's like being a kid is like building that go-kart, going down a hill and then getting halfway down the hill and realising you haven't got the brakes, but enjoying it anyway. And say, what the hell? Yeah, so that's, you're going to learn loads. And it's it's reflecting that seven of pentacles on that side. So it is nurturing your future. Good reading, Virgo. Really nice reading. You've got a bit of, you know, shit to sort out uh, on the physical side. But I think you've got the power and I think the universe is with you. So stand by your guns. Okay. So there you go, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, don't forget, as I say, there's loads of links in the description below. And, um, you know, I will see you soon as long as you subscribe and click that bell. Okay. So in the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun. Yeah. Okay. So please do enjoy.